Hey guys, Sandy Sun here. Sorry if I look bluer than normal. I just can't get the white balance to work today on the camera. So, but I don't mind. I like blue. So, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little uh, retour of my room. I recently redid some things from the last apartment tour video. Uh, so, let's get started. Okay, first up is the doorway. I. A couple weeks ago, I got a new wall scroll of Saber from the anime Fate Stay Night, which uh, I expected to be as big as my Ray wall scroll, but that didn't quite happen. So needless to say, I was a little disappointed, but I kind of got over it and was looking for a new place to put it, and I eventually settled on the door, which I think works pretty well, actually. And uh, if you're wondering, no, the wall scroll doesn't really move that much when I'm opening and closing the door. Even when I'm slamming it, it only kind of ruffles a little bit. And, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, you might remember my box of food. That is, uh, no more. I re it's, uh, I'm using it for storage, storing stuff in my closet now. So the box itself isn't gone, but it has no food. This is my, uh, little, is it four, little seven drawer thing that I got from Walmart for about, I think it was like 34, 36 bucks. Maybe it was 32, I don't quite remember. But it's pretty convenient. See, I store most of my food in the bottom three drawers. Well, actually be the top and the bottom drawers where I store my food. And my plates and stuff are in the middle bottom drawer. And then I get, keep my mail right here. Then this is where I keep like my sleeping mask. See, that's my old sleeping mask. I recently got a new one today, actually, called the Sleep Master. I don't know if you can see that here. It's kind of still in the bag. I only strapped it on like a couple minutes ago to kind of test it out, but I have yet to actually, you know, sleep a whole night in it. So I'm taking that over when I go over to my parents' house to give that a little spin or whatever. There's my earplugs and some random stuff, like a bouncy ball. <laughs> and in here is like coupons and picks and other assorted things. And here's where I keep all my silverware. And up here is the little guitar gig bag book thing, which shows every scale, arpeggio, and chord in every key, except for Lydian. I don't know why. And if you're wondering where I keep the money for my new guitar. It is here, in my jar of money. But I will soon move it, so for potential thefts, um, that will not be there. And the keys and stuff. And here's my mirrored door closet. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, um, there's my first wall scroll of uh, Ray Ayanami from Neon Genesis Evangelion, or Ava as I like to call it. Um, I was expecting the Saber wall scroll to be that big, but, as you can see, it is not. Let's see if I can get a shot of both of them in here. See, there's the Ray one. There's the Saber one. See? They're significantly smaller. And uh, that's pretty much it as far as, like, major changes. Oh, I did bring my bike inside just because it's getting near that time where all the, uh, you know, college kids are coming back, so I don't want people totally fucking with my bike. So I decided to just, you know, bring it inside. It's out in the living room. Nobody really does anything in the living room. They just, they're either out working or with friends, or if they do decide to come home, then they just go straight to the bedroom. Just like a certain somebody. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, in one of my previous, uh, posts, I believe it was, uh, Either last week's or the week before is a Deja Vu's day. I talked about having a goal board, which uh, was inspired by one of Steve Pavlina's videos, which uh, he himself did not do, but he was on. It was like a raw food, like vlog thing, started by somebody else. Uh, I'll put the link in the sidebar if you guys want to see it. He actually did two videos where he kind of gives a tour of his house, and he shows the goal board in there and. He talks about, uh, I think, like, manifesting intentions or something, something along those lines. His wife Aaron's there, too, so. Um, but basically, his goal board is a 2x3 uh, a thing of uh, various little goals that he does. They're not anything, you know, particularly fancy. As far as, you know, the writing isn't particularly intricate or anything like that, but. 
I kind of did the same thing with mine, but I'm actually thinking about retooling it just to kind of change things up a bit. But I'll let you guys have a little looky look. Okay. That one over there says I have $1,337 worth of value to others and am rewarded accordingly. I don't know. I just decided to throw a figure out there. Then I am grateful for owning a PV Viper 75. I am in a relationship with a beautiful woman. And this one, which as many of my followers on Twitter and on Facebook might recognize, I am the proud owner of a Paul Reed Smith SE Custom 24 in whale blue, which uh, I am currently 14.9% away, or I have 14.9% saved up, I should say. Then this one, I weigh 180 pounds, which is currently collecting dust right now, as I now currently weigh 212 pounds. So yeah, I really should uh, exercise more. And this one is, uh, I can't show everything just because uh, it lists some uh, band members or potential band member candidates that uh, I haven't really talked to about it. So just for confidentiality reasons, I can't show the whole thing. So it basically says, I'm the front man for my band Chrome Sparks as the lead vocalist, rhythm guitarist with blank on lead guitar, backup vocals slash screams, blank on drums, and blankety blank on bass slash backup vocals. So I'd like to show you, but A, that would spoil the surprise, and B, I'm not sure if they'll even agree to it. And also C, they might not want their privacy uh, compromised. <laughs> for the 80 to 100 people that view this video. So, yeah, I'm going to my parents for this weekend, so I won't be Twittering or doing anything of that sort for uh, Friday through Saturday. Although I do plan on uh, getting back probably late Saturday. Well, late to me, right around like 10-ish, 9, 10-ish. So I might be Twittering then. But for the rest of the day and uh, most of tomorrow, I'll be over at my parents. So yeah. Um, let's see what else should I talk about? Um, oh yeah, my uh, like as I said in the goal board, my band Chrome Sparks is uh, beginning to form. I'm actually kind of focusing right now on just making it like a one-man band, a la Owl City, just so that way I have some material to work on just in case I either can't find anybody or can't find the right people to work with or whatever, you know. You know how that goes for people that are in bands. You know, they got work schedules, they got school schedules, and you got to work all the way around all these, like, four different people's schedules, and it's just, it, it can be a bit, a bit of a hassle. I guess that's one of the reasons why power trios were so successful, not just sonically, but, uh, I guess, uh, schedule-wise. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, this is Andy San signing off for now. You guys have an excellent day, and, oh yeah, I just remembered. I'm going to be, uh, filming a couple videos of, uh, some of the Chrome Sparks riff ideas that I put up on our MySpace page. So, uh, be sure to check those out. And, uh, like I said before, this is Andy San signing off. And you guys have an excellent day. See ya!